Hi guys, it's recently admitted the York Attorney Kai here, serving up my hints, tips, tricks, and everything I generally think you need to know about the UBE today. That's the Uniform Bar Exam. Uh, this is the big guns. This is this is the this is the bar exam. Like this is the exam that everyone thinks of when you say you're going to become a New York Attorney, and it's for good reason. It's 14 substantive areas of law two days minimum three hour writing testing sessions and there's four of them um so it's intense don't get me wrong and you can't hide anywhere so if you want to be a criminal lawyer you're going to have to know business law if you want to be a constitutional lawyer you're going to have to know family law like you're going to have to know it all like there is no hiding <laughs> so anyway i hope you find this session useful whether or not this is your first or 50th 50th time of writing the bar exam i hope there's going to be some key takeaways for you um, i'm going to start off with my three key tips for success and things that i think you should think about i'm going to talk a bit about course providers i'm going to talk a bit about exam day logistics anyway grab a drink let's chat <laughs> um where to start three key tips one thing i would say is if you've already got a course provider or you've got one in mind fact check the number of ncbe questions they use for the mbe now this is something that i learned from experience and i'll go into this in a, a little bit um but definitely fact check because on bar exam day you're going to be writing ncbe mbe questions like multiple choice questions um so practice with them why would you not like set yourself up for success make it easy make it like representative so what you're practicing with translates to bar exam day like why would you not anyway check if you find for whatever reason that your current course provider don't provide that many of them or like they do but like you need to upgrade your package please upgrade your package <laughs> if that's what you want to do or like find an alternative provider like you need to supplement so you world adaptable and cbe you can access them anywhere like there are a whole load of places you can get them from but do use them because it's useful like why would you not like give yourself the best like chances of success anyway first thing use real materials Second thing, practice timed questions. You would not believe the amount of times that I've heard people say like, oh, in practice, I never like wrote an essay. Or in practice, I never did a timed set of MBEs. Or in practice, I never ever drafted or did an MPT. Like what? <laughs> like this is, this was not a, this is not a surprise to you. Like the bar graders didn't just like create this exam the day before <laughs> and surprise you with it. Set yourself up for success. Do it under time conditions. You need to know, come bar exam day, that you can actually write an essay in 30 minutes. If you can't, you're in for a rude awakening in that exam. So like do it and do it in practice and learn from it. So yeah, anyway, say no more on that. Um, real materials, timed, time conditions. Third one, simulate bar exam day. And I say this because I don't want the first time that you are sitting down for three hours doing six essays to be the bar exam. I don't want the first time that you're doing 100 MBE questions to be the bar exam because you've got that twice. Like it's it's grueling. Like mentally, like you, you might laugh at it, but actually, like to sit there and read multiple choice questions for three hours twice is a lot. Like <laughs> so, practice and please, when I say practice, give yourself enough time to do something about it. Like if it goes really wrong and you've learned a lot, that's really excellent. I'm so pleased you need to now have time to do it so this is why i say don't do it like the weekend before the bar exam because if it goes wrong you've knocked your confidence um so yeah set yourself up for su success make all your mistakes like please make mistakes like if you get one out of 20 on your mbe practices at home fantastic that's 20 more you're going to get right in the exam like please make all your mistakes before in practice and set yourself up for success so three key tips real materials do it under time conditions do a simulated bar exam three key tips for success there you go <laughs> okay so with that now out of the way i'm going to talk to you about course providers and i'm just going to summarize like what i think the strengths are of each different way of doing it um and it's from experience i have a wealth of experience in this exam <laughs> having done it um so yeah what i would say about the likes of barbary kaplan themis like the corporate commercial like when you think of like commercial bar prep providers the strength absolute strength of these providers is they're going to teach you the law now i can only speak specifically about barbary because i use them um but yeah so kaplan themas i know of generally do the same thing just from friends i've spoken to and people i spoke to while writing the bar exam um but i could be wrong please fact check i know you're going to anyway but and, it, and also this is just my experience like and i did make mistakes <laughs> so like i'm not like just learn from the things i have to say and like go make up your own opinion um but yeah what i would say the strength of these com like commercial providers is is they're going to teach you the law they're like a mini law school basically so like for me as a foreign trained attorney i did not know enough us law to be able to pass the bar exam and i literally had substantive lectures outlines everything that i needed in terms of law was provided to me and that was invaluable so i had like flashcards, all sorts you name it a whole load of resources provided um and that was really really useful um 
so that's that i guess like think of it as a mini law school is what you're going to get um so if that's what you need you know you best that's what you're going to get anyway if you find that actually your general knowledge of us law is good um and or like you've written the bar exam and you came within throwing distance of passing i'm probably gonna take a punt here <laughs> and say your substantive legal knowledge is probably not the issue you either have like blind spots within the general law which like a high level overview course um like commercial course provider is just not gonna or is very unlikely to pick them out um what you need here is strategy so this is where you're going to want to look at things like the client method or counsel table which is just jessica Klein's program and um, that are going to actually teach you the bar exam and help you to highlight these blind sites in area of law areas of law so that you can maximize your points if you fail before and pass or like if you already know the law and like you just want to pass and move on with your life like so you can do that because you know the law um anyway so that's the general strengths i'd say of each different type um, if you feel you need someone to really sit and hold your hand, please get a tutor. Like, if you actually need someone to go through each essay with you and be like, hey, like, this is how it's going, get a tutor. Like, absolutely. Do what you need to do. Like, you know you best. Like, and also, how do you learn best? Are you a visual learner? Are you, like, an audible learner? Like, there are diff different, like, providers out there. Like, I think on, like, you can probably go on Amazon, like, on Audibly, Audibly, I think it is. Like, that you've got, like, bar review people that you can listen to like bar exam toolbox why am i forgetting them like great listen and learn series like there are so many different resources out there to cater for each different way that people learn so do your research how do you learn best what's your time scale i covered this in my first video or second video ever um set yourself up for success maximize your chances okay so now i've covered off a little bit about like course providers also i'm probably going to do like a more in-depth like discussion on all these things anyway but this is like a whistle stop tour of the uve <laughs> Um, okay, last but not least, let's talk about the practicalities. So these are the things that I learned from experience that I want to share with you quickly before we end our coffees, our chat, that I just think you can learn from. First thing, please attempt to, like, I'm not saying go to the actual centre, but know where it is, like, go to the vicinity, because obviously preparing for bar exam day, like, if you're going in person, which you probably will be, um, barring, like, a national pandemic, international pandemic or anything like that, um, you're gonna to have to go to a testing center based in the States. So please do a dry run, get yourself to the vicinity, know roughly where you're going. I'm not saying walk into the exam hall, I'm just saying know where you're going because come exam day, you don't wanna be like trying to find directions and be like, excuse me, excuse me, where am I? <laughs> That's just chaos. Like, and also you don't need that stress. So just do a dry run, maybe two, three days, a week or two before, like however long, if you're close enough, just to know where you're going. Um, tip number one. Tip number two. If you're lucky, like in New York State, like you're provided with a lunch, you can purchase a lunch. Now I did this and I learned from experience. <laughs> so it's super busy on bar exam day. Like there are hundreds, if not thousands of people in the same testing center. Like there could be a McDonald's, there could be a Subway, there could be like a little grocery store or whatever that provides food. But with that many people descending, are they gonna have enough for you? <laughs> Especially if you're the back of the exam hall. So like, um, one of the exams I wrote, they literally ran out of coffee, like, and I was suffering from jet lag, so just, just don't make these mistakes, <laughs> like, so literally have, have a flask, like, have a flask in the coat room waiting for you, like, if you need coffee, um, also don't overdo the caffeine, like, some people just, like, start knocking back espressos, like, because it's exam day, like, why would you do that, like, please, please don't do that, because, like, you might give yourself more anxiety, headaches, whatever, like, just don't do anything too radical to yourself, <laughs> um but yeah just make sure that you've got lunch available so if that means taking a packed lunch i actually saw some people do some really smart stuff so like they would literally take a sandwich into the bar exam with them like unpackaged just like in like i don't know cling film or something or like a little snappy bag um so obviously complied with the regulations and they would just eat that on the way out so like they had lunch sorted um there are all sorts of different little things like that that you can do to make the whole process for you a little bit smoother because obviously you need to eat you need to stay like fueled hydrated whatever please do that um so that's another thing i'd say like the food logistic also if you're traveling out of state abroad like in from abroad jet lag like i don't know why i didn't think of this like of course you're going to suffer from jet lag and you do not want the exact time that jet lag hits you to be question 50 in the mbe <laughs> like please just don't do it don't do it um yeah give yourself enough time to adjust to assimilate so yeah and you know have a duvet day like at the hotel whatever you need to do but please do not let jet lag hit you like please 
please like you are not superhuman i thought i was you are not <laughs> like you're a person like give yourself a break just yeah have a netflix day or something and just yeah two three days before the bar exam and prep early so then you don't even feel bad about it um so that's one thing i would say i would then also say like take a coat if it's winter um wear wear clothes wear clothes that are appropriate because like if it's the height of summer they may, may well have aircon on like you don't want to find yourself freezing so take a jumper like don't go in in t-shirt because like at least like go in in a t-shirt but have a jumper on on top because then like you can take the jumper off and like you'll be fine also if it's winter vice versa like they could still have aircon on so make sure you've got enough that you're warm um be careful with hoodies i think there are some jurisdictions like where they don't like you to wear a hoodie or like they definitely won't let you have the hood up but like just just easier to just wear like a jumper i don't know like be cozy um but yeah those are generally the, the hints and tips i would give you um study study well study early i would probably say give yourself the best chance to pass um a little and often just practice 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 this is basically what it is like obviously you do need to know the law but like also the bar graders kind of expect that like you've got your law degree <laughs> like they expect you to know this coming to the exam they're testing you on the bar exam this is a professional exam so please don't forget that if you are a repeat taker you absolutely can pass this you just need to strategize and reapproach. i have the greatest of confidence in you you can do this there will be more videos that i do on the ube and the different elements but that is today's coffee size chat i hope it was really useful can't wait to see you next time you've got this